I want to talk about the intense energy upgrades and solar flares that are happening right now on the planet and how you can mm, best use what is happening for your benefit because um, there are so many upgrades that are available through through the light of the, these these um, gateways. I'm going to call them gateway into light, gateway into love, gateway into the unconditional nature of our potential and what it means to really be in your potential. What does that mean? How do we reach this? How do we use the intensity of the energies around us to perpetuate our highest growth? And that's what we're talking about in this video. And please like and subscribe if you like my energy so that I can continue to assist you in this capacity. Also comment below what your thoughts are, comments, thoughts, what you feeling? What does this bring up for you? How was this supportive so that I can connect with you, get to know you better, and also serve you to the highest of my ability? I really care about that and your comments, yeah, mean a lot to me. If you don't know me already, my name is Grace Moralia. I specialize in trauma healing and subconscious reprogramming, teaching you how to heal yourself and helping facilitate your healing, deep inner healing, so that you can reach your highest potential and live your purpose in life. If you're interested in working with me, I am doing something new. You can text me if you are interested in working with me, whether that be coming to meet me in person for private sessions or a retreat, which I do in Sedona, or if you want to meet with me online, just let me know, serious inquiries only. only. Like I said, I'm putting my number below, but don't text me if you're a creep, okay? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna block you. I'm gonna block you, okay? Um, let's just start off there and you can look at my testimonials and my website below. I'll link all of that for you if you're interested. Okay. So I'm going to talk about two different things in this video. Number one, and I wrote down, you know, well, we need to talk about the intensity of the energies that are available right now so that you're able to understand how to best make use of them in your life. And so how you can perpetuate your highest growth, how you can um, really not be afraid of the things that are blocking you, but to use them to amplify your gifts, your skills, your ability, your timeline, which is just your reality. You know, we want to create the highest reality that we possibly can with what we are given. So my videos are to help support with that and I'm going to help break it down. So talking about the energies present and also how to use them for your highest growth, what to do to, to, you know, amplify your reality, what to do to amplify your highest reality. It's time to do that for yourself. Okay. So, uh, whenever you're watching, this is going to be perfect. I'm also did this angle because someone said they wanted to see the full they wanted to see the full picture. It says, I am love. It's Isis with a rose in it and sacred geometry, which is super cool. I got it custom made from an Etsy seller. Um, I'm super tired because yesterday was the full moon eclipse, uh, partial eclipse. I actually could see it. If you don't really know what's going on here, uh, there's a gateway of light open for the next few days and will continue to be open to some capacities, but there are certain times of the year and of the calendar um, and of the cycles with astrology um, that we have more potent light coming in to assist our healing. This means that we could be more sensitive, uh, we could be triggered easier, we could be feeling tired, like exhaustion, physical pains, breakups, challenges in our relationships, um, feeling like we're outgrowing circumstances. I really want to highlight before I go any deeper that if you feel yourself outgrowing certain circumstances in your life, I really am encouraging you to allow that process to happen instead of fighting it. Because when you fight old energies that are trying to leave, it's like a heavy weight that comes over your reality like like this almost like a turtle shell 
you're being pushed down by these old frequencies. So we need to be willing to let go. And that's the one of the biggest things I think is my biggest struggle is letting go um, uh, in my life. And then also, you know, I think for the collective as well, because we have what we like to say attachments are, right? So your attachments to what you own, what you have, um, the people you have, the status you have, all of these things are here to help us grow. But when we start outgrowing them, then it's time for us to replace them with something new. And so I am encouraging you to notice where you feel yourself outgrowing things in your life and really just ask yourself and contemplate with yourself, what do you need to let go? What do you need to move on? And, and that's gonna be a process of what I believe to be a grieving process of your old self, of your old parts, of your old identities, of your old attachments, and then also an acceptance of those things, but maybe your attachments are just because you have fears of losing things or you have fears because something in your past happened that you're afraid of repeating itself or, you know, because that's why we have attachments is because of our past. We wouldn't have attachments. Woo! Gives me goosebumps. We would not have attachments if it was not for our past. Traumas. Yeah. So that's why this work is so important. So with... There's so, let's return to the main point. With so much light that's coming in right now, old things are gonna be surfacing, okay? Old belief systems that don't serve you. Old wounds, attachments, stories. These are your soul's roadmap to healing. That's what I call it in my work. Your soul's roadmap to healing is, are the things that are blocking you or that are coming up to be looked at, okay? And the reason why I say that is because, yeah, let's take a positive spin on traumas and wounds and things that are blocking us because really they can open us up into a higher version of ourselves and they always, always do when you look at them. This is why I'm so passionate about facilitating the work that I do is because when, we, when I am teaching you how to heal your traumas, wounds, and limiting beliefs and release them from your body, your subconscious, and your reality, it is giving you the opportunity to know yourself in a new way, heal yourself, love yourself in a new way, meet your needs in a new way, really understand what it is that you need in life and in your relationships, but it's also empowering you into your soul's highest version. Your soul's highest version of yourself that's gonna create the life that you really, really want, ooh, is going to be the one that is on the other side of this healing work. Not to say that this healing work is to get you to a specific goal of being 100% healed. I don't feel like that's necessarily a healthy goal to have, but since we're getting bombarded with all these light codes and solar flares and things that naturally bring up old wounds and karmic contracts, soul ties, um, past life wounds, generational wounds, all these things to be looked at, it's important for us to just be like, okay, well, I'm going to take responsibility of those and I can really replace these wounds with the sense of self-love, with a sense of self-trust. And... I teach you how to, if you are struggling with self-love and you want to go deeper into that for yourself, I have the self-love accelerator below teaching you how to love yourself, stop dr being drained from your relationships, how to create healthy relationship dynamics, how to really figure out what your inner needs are and start showing up for yourself on a deeper level so that you genuinely start feeling self-love, can take your energy back from toxic situations and really create that life that feels healthy and comfortable and empowered, free from people pleasing and shame in your body. So that's below as well. But I wanted to talk about this. The really only, the only thing that you, that would be worth, not the only thing, the big, one of the biggest things that's going to be worth focusing on right now for you is understanding that going within yourself, going within changes your entire reality. And that's what I said. Going within changes your entire reality and it's the most important thing to align with your highest potential because by doing that, you are clearing what keeps you from your destiny. Do you hear that? You, why, by going within 
and healing yourself by doing trauma healing, by doing limiting belief work, by doing subconscious reprogramming, you are changing your entire reality from the inside out because that's the way that reality is created. You can't manifest your way out of your wounds. You're gonna get stuck in new age spirituality. I'm gonna call it out. You're gonna get stuck in new age spirituality thinking that all you have to do is focus your mind on getting better. You're not, you're not gonna feel better that way. You need to do trauma healing work. There's a gap in what we're being taught here in new age. Um, but so focusing inwards right now looking at your wounds, healing your wounds, this is what's gonna align you to your highest potential because it keeps you, or it, because you're clearing what keeps you from your destiny and therefore you naturally align with it because if there's nothing hindering you or keeping you from your destiny, you will naturally align with it. If your soul is naturally aligned with your destiny frequency, with the vibration of your destiny, your soul is aligned with the vibration of your destiny naturally. So if you clear what keeps you away from that vibration inside doing inner healing, trauma healing, limiting belief work, you will align with it all in divine timing. All in divine timing. Therefore, you will not have to use force or lead from fear because instead of leading from those places, you trust yourself. And that's really, really a key component that I teach my clients in my sessions and in my in-person work is that we need to trust yourself. You need to trust yourself. And trusting yourself is about loving yourself. It's about acting in your best interest and moving in accordance with your intuition. So you need to learn how to more deeply trust your intuition, your soul, and what you're guided to do. So. We do not want to be forcing life. You can try, but it's gonna exhaust you. And there's a higher way now. There's higher light here, uh, especially if you're a woman or identify as a woman. Um, it's not the most natural way to do it for your body. The universe wants to help you. If you're working in the light, things will happen in divine time. And especially if you trust and believe that things will happen in divine time, that's when things will open up for you and happen in divine time. So, what also inner healing work does that I'm so passionate about and I see my life change every day more and more and more from the inside out, allowing myself to go deep into my wounds subconscious and use the tools and strategies that I've developed over the past decade of doing this work. If you're wondering how old I am, I'm eternal. So what what happens when you are clearing these wounds is that you are allowing spirit to work through you when you heal there is space for your soul to occupy your body and lead your life through love when you heal there's space for your soul to occupy your body and lead your life through love leading your life through love if your soul is occupying your body and making decisions from your body because you're not in that fear or force anymore, you're gonna get a lot farther because these old energies that we need to clear, that you're being asked and called to clear, are keeping you in the vibration of a lower density and that's painful and keeping you in familiar patterns, relationship dynamics, uh, work, career, relationship to self that doesn't feel good, things like that. So I'm asking you to really like learn to to step up and grow out of these things so that you can come into the type of life that feels free so that you can manifest or create the life that is free, co-create the life that is free, co-create the life that is right for you. And that is you showing up for the work that you need to do by following the calling, by doing the inner work. And that's what I'm happy to facilitate with you. Go ahead and you know text or call me for a consultation call. Texting would be better, serious inquiries only. Like I said, I'm happy to help support you. We can talk about it. And you see the minimum pricing for a session down below. So that answers your questions. I hope this was supportive. Let me know in the comments. I look forward to connecting with you and I'll talk to you soon.